was always part of growing up. By the time I was able to join a step team in high school, I did it without, <laughs> in fact, I begged to audition. I missed the audition date. I begged and I begged and I begged. When I went to college, uh, when I joined my fraternity, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was horrible. I was not very good at it. I was in theater for like three years and I was like, you know, it's time for me to, you know, I was thinking maybe, you know, theater was my goal because I always wanted to act, but it didn't hit home for me. It was like never close to step. When you find something that you can, you can kind of grasp, then it becomes home. For most people, they don't really understand the whole scope of what step is. They know it's a lot of clapping, they know it's a lot of stomping, but I don't think that they take into consideration a lot of the training that goes into it. We are learning percussion. They are learning time signatures, just as if they were in music class. They're learning dance choreography. They're learning acting. They're learning vocal projection. They're learning costume design. So we're taking a little bit of all of these other performing art forms and putting them with a standard in black culture that has been there for decades. Stepping was a part of uh, black culture. You know, it was historical meaning and background about it. And I never knew that. I just thought it was like, oh, you just move your feet and stuff like that, you know? Gumboot step is how I started off. So a lot of the workers in like apartheid driven uh, Africa, they were in like these caves and mining and doing all this. In order to communicate, they would they would hit their legs and they make these, these sounds. It changed from that into a form of entertainment. We've come from gumboot in Africa to HBCUs, and, and the bridge isn't a long bridge. We have people there that were saying, hey, well, wait a second, now that we have our own colleges and universities, let's keep reaching back, let's keep finding stuff that is ours. It has a broad uh, mainstream appeal now based on a, a small movement that happened years and years and years and years before anybody was here. The minute it was announced that Step Team was a course, I saw people, oh, can I audition? Can I sign up to be on your team? And it's changing to a point where it's being accepted into schools, not only within the Garland Independent School District, but also in Arlington, also in Houston. And Mesquite is the latest. So now they have a Step being recognized on their campuses as well. So it's a growing thing and it's a beautiful thing to be able to see, uh, to see it branch from something that started as an after school club. It, it now gives some legitimacy to something that we've always felt was legitimate. Stepping is that place where you can be or have a second family. We are a second family to one another. Everybody assumes, oh, you're on step team, you must be black. No, we had white students, we've had Latino students, we've had Asian students as well. I wanna say Saxe had a foreign exchange student from South Korea. I had a Russian girl, <laughs> I had a Russian girl, never. You know, so we have all these people from these different cultures and these different walks of life be able to be brought together by music. We don't sit there and, and measure you in terms of your size, your body shape, any of that. And I can take a person with two left feet and by the time that year is over, they are precise, they are just as rhythmic. We are, they, they are no longer part of the rhythmless nation as I like to call it. It's a lot of structure. It's a lot of patience, it's a lot of organizing. Just watching it, you're exhausted. You're, oh my gosh, how are these kids doing it? I'm, I, we didn't have to do it like that, but it, it's changed just in 20 years. Some of the teams are very intimidating, but as long as you know what you came to do, the feeling of winning, that's like the most rewarding feeling ever to know that all the time and practices that you've put in have actually paid off. There's a team right here, they're like looking right at me because the, the uh, team are right in front of you. They look right at you, be like, okay. You know, especially if they don't like you, they're gonna be like, okay, well, let me see what you got. And that's your chance to, okay, let me shine. So Universal came, it really just came out of this wild opportunity. One of my former students, he went to Garland, hi, but I had known him through working with junior players. So he called me and he said, hey, do you still have a step team? I said, I sure do. He said, well, we have an, an opportunity to open for Blue Man Group when they tour through Dallas. Well, heck yeah, my step team wants to do it, but then I thought, this is such a really great opportunity that it doesn't seem fair for it to just be my school. So I called all the other coaches. I said, hey, what do you guys think if we put together a full team and let's create a piece and open up for Blue Man Group? And that's exactly what we did. And I was terrified at first. Uh, but everyone has something to offer. And that's the cool thing about it. Like uh, the way that Garland steps is completely different from North Garland, which is completely different from Naaman, which is totally different from Raleigh. I want to teach healthy competition to our students. We also are a district. 
and we are one of the only districts that has step as a class. So if that's the case, we have to band together and we have to boost each other up. We have to stay positive and cheer each other on. I'm just glad, and I'm, I can say this because I've, I've been here so long, to see that the face of it is changing. My step coach was the one that was like, listen, I see potential in you. I see you can do so many amazing things and I need you to absorb that and lean into that. I need you to start seeing what I see from you. Mm. Now, the day that my coach had that conversation with me, it changed everything. Step is here. It's, it's here and it's, it's been here. It's becoming more noticeable and hopefully people will embrace it a little bit more. Now we get to understand it truly, truly understand what it is and what it takes. And no matter what you do, whatever your discipline is, whether it be soccer, basketball, at the end of the day, these kids are super important. And, and you make the difference. You might not, might not think about it. You know, it might not make any sense right now, but down the line, somebody will appreciate you.